This is a quick five minute tech video. I found these at my secret location. Wi-Fi. Um, this isn't going to be a long video because I, I can't even get it to work. Never fails when I want to do something. We can hear you now. Oh, wonderful. All right, so this quick. This is a tech video. Quick tech video on the control unit from the Ghost Rider uh, set. Ghost? Is it Ghost? Um, Ghost Racer, and basically it's a Ghost Racer. You're, uh, you're basically, the computer's gonna drive a car. And so this will work with your AFX. This will work with um, your uh, Auto World set. Okay, so the first thing I noticed was, when I got this, I took this out of a Ghost Racer set, but I got about, I found about 50 of these things. So we're selling these things now on Pro Tinker. But the only part that I don't have in stock right now is the little flag that attaches right here. I'm going to have Ron Gardner make these. I'm going to send him one. And he's got a 3D printer. This is a very easy item to print. You can stack these up like this and make like 20 of them. And that would just easy print that. All right, so here's how it works. I just set up an oval set. I'm about to sleep, but then your live stream I have now. Just stay up. All right, great. All right, so what this is, is let me bring it down first when I show you how to program it. So when you get a Ghost Racer set, you get a transformer, but the transformers back then were output. What was the output? Input. Output 22. That can't be right. 120, 12 amps. Because the Auto World transformers are output 16 volts. But this one says, uh, what's that say? 22, but that can't be 22 volts because. We just keep getting orders in. They're crazy. It says 22 VDC. Seven. All I know is that the, the Auto World Transformer works better. But you have to, you have to modify this um, control unit. You have to natu uh, 
cut off these tabs because the transformer is only designed to go one direction. All right. So you're having to put the arrow. The arrow has to go this way. See that? See how the arrow... And this won't fit if these little notches are on here. So I took the notches off. And then you make a, a circle track. I just made a sample circle track here. Because I wanted to show you these control units. Because for, for guys that have kids or you want to race yourself, I have these listed now. These little computer things are actually pretty cool. <laughs> oh, guys. All right, so what you do is, what you do is, you um, set it to zero. So we have both these set at zero. Sorry, trying to get this right. Okay, so we have them set at zero. And you have your, your uh, speed control, and you can set this at whatever speed you want. I set it because I've got the... Okay, so you put two of the cars on the controller. Your hand throttle only goes in the, the left side. And then this is what's really cool. So then you press the start button right here of course i have to plug the power in for it to actually work there we go so we're going to push the speed all the way up so basically the ghost racer car see that's the ghost and then i can be this one now whoever finishes 10 laps first he it's going to stop right here. See, now that car, that car stopped. So let's try that again. So we put both the cars on right here. Then we push this to zero. Each of the laps have to be at zero. Okay, they're both at zero. And then once we press, once we press that, now that's at a max speed, okay? And you want to adjust that so it doesn't, the cars don't fly off the track on the curbs. Okay. And I have about oh, 30 of these. I have 30 of these, these control units. And these are from 1987. So that's so funny. So in 1987 is when I got, I got out of the Navy in 1987. I got out in November, 1987. I opened up Young's newsstand, December, 1987. That's when I opened Young's newsstand, December 1987. And so these came out in 87. That's, that's just mind-boggling. And these are a pretty cool device. Now, these were these were made by Tomy, Aurora Tomy AFX before they dropped the Aurora name. So they, they had the name Aurora because it says Aurora AFX, but they were made by Tomy in their uh, um, Ghost Racer set. So... So here's we go. So we're going to push the button. All right. And watch what happens. So I'm going to push the button. I'm going to push the button. Watch. So that car is already two up to lap me. I got to get over that. I've got to pass him twice without crashing. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I haven't been, There we go. Go. Oh, oh, coming. Oh, no. Oh, I did it. Oh, he won. See that, that commie pinko. So, so this is a really cool device. Now, the only thing I don't have for the ones that I have are these little flags. And the flag is like this. So watch, 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 watch this. Now, I'm going to have Ron Gardner make these flags for me. He, he's got a 3D printer. I'm going to send him one of these. And he should be able to do about six or seven of these on one pad at a time. Okay? And then he'll send those to me, of course. He doesn't know that yet, but he will. So we're going to... We're going to put this here to zero. We're going to put this at zero. And this is um, uh, 8639, I think. 8639, I think that was the number. All right, so you ready? 
We're gonna try to do this again. I'm gonna bring down the speed just a little bit. This is the speed indicator right here. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit of advantage. All right, so we're gonna push the button. You ready? And the flag's gonna go down. Oh, we, oh, I can't believe it. Good grief. Well, that race is locked. Shoot. Ah. Come on, for the love of Mike. Ah. Well, I can't win that race. Okay, so I got I only got one lap done. Good grief. Okay, so we go back to zero. All right. All right, so we got 24, 24. I'm gonna ring that speed down a little bit. Okay, ready, go. All right, there we go. There we coming around the corner. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's still beating me. Oh, come on. Oh, there I got him. I got him. I got it. Okay, I've, I've got it. I got it. I got it. Don't come off, Brian. Don't come off. Oh, I crashed right at the end. Holy cow. Okay. Now, now obviously, the, these are limited. I don't have a lot of these control units, okay? But um, uh, these are really cool. Th this has got to be a must. If you have a layout and you want to race yourself or, or, or just race, and uh, um, they're pretty cool. Now, you can also go to manual mode in which you can just regular race. And then you can change the voltage here on the car, okay? I just noticed that the voltage of the, of the Auto World transformer is better than the, than the uh, Aurora High Performance transformer. I just noticed, let me try their transformer again, but... And these transformers might be old too, but... See, it doesn't seem like it has the power that the Auto World Transformer has. No, maybe. So it's running both the cars. This is really cool. See, that automatically stops. And then the flag goes back up to let you know who won. Okay? So you set it at zero. You got your speed indicator right here. Okay, this little thing right here. Okay, and then this is the control unit. This is what they need to to do these, but you have to explain people how to, how, and you and you have to design this so that it can be used um, in either a four lane layout or alternate layouts. Okay, and and that's why I don't know if they came out. I would have to know why these didn't sell back in the seventies, but I think this was at the end of uh, this is when Tommy quit making a lot of stuff in the in the late eighty sevens. <laughs> All right, so let's try this one more time. All right, so I'm going to try to beat them. Okay, this is going to be very tricky. Okay, ready, go. I crashed again. Can you believe it? Well, there's no sense in even starting because I won't even win. Nine, ten. Lap up. Now, that one, we're in a couple more laps, but... Ready? There we go. Now I'm ahead. I won't I won't lose this time. I'm going to speed up his car a little bit. Oh, I crashed. Oh no. Oh gosh, I just won. Yes. Oh gosh. Okay, so this is the control unit. Um, from the Ghost Race uh, Ghost Racer set, and uh, I have I have I mean I have a lot of the Ghost Racer sets left, but um, um, but I just found I found about fifty of these fifty of these control units, and um, if you want to add a lot of excitement to your layout, get one of these control con uh, computer control centers. This is 1987 technology. 
All right, I haven't taken one open, uh, uh, but it's it's pretty a simpler simple uh, mechanism, and they have they do have a circuit card in here somewhere. It must not be that complicated. Of a uh, oh the snow, oh we're gonna be getting a uh, pummeled with snow. I told Tim he better leave early. Uh, we're gonna be getting eight inches of snow today or tomorrow over the next couple days. Eight inches of snow, snow. Sorry. Mess the snow, met plenty of snow. Okay, so this is pretty cool. And so this is your speed indicator. So we can make them go really slow if we want. There, see, I can really whip, whip them now. So I'm going to, oh, see, I crashed. See how sloppy I was? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got to really, oh, I got to catch up. He's at five. Oh, I got to, I got, oh, I left him again. He's going to win. Oh, I got two left. Oh, I did it again. I'm a terrible driver, you communist. Oh, I lost. Oh, I'm for the love of Mike. Um, well, I just wanted to show you how fun this was. And that's the control unit. We get you the instructions. You get the instructions inside, and it tells you how to program it. All your programming is right here. It's very simple. It's not a hard thing to use. Um, connect to the power, blah, blah, blah. Uh, computer race mode, controller, and then computer racing, regular racing. Um, uh, communist driver, that's right, James, a communist driver. And uh, um, so that is the, I got to do my taxes on Monday or Tuesday. Tuesday will be, Ryan and I have to go, we're going to be going to the taxes, uh, t tax man at 1030 so we're not going to be on live probably Tuesday until after we get back. Probably a late day Tuesday type show. Um, but I wanted to show you this control unit. Uh, is this is this what the phone guy call said the other day? What? Wait a minute. I can't read some of these. Is this what the phone call guy said the other day? I don't understand what you mean, AJ. I don't understand. But this is the control unit, and this is pretty fun, especially if you got a kid and he just wants to drive and compete against somebody. I mean, you can do the biggest layout you want, and he's just basically comp competing against another driver. I better, I, I did it again. Oh, good Lord. I lost the rigging at a race. I'm never going to be able to catch up. There, I did it again. I'm going to slow him down. He's really getting me upset. He's going to win. He just did it again. He just won it again. Gosh, for the love of Mike. So that is the S. Uh, that's the um, tech or um, um, that is what you call. I just set up a little mini uh uh, a layout here, just an oval set right here, just simple, just to show you what it does, how it works, and how cool it is. I'm going to have Ron Gardner make these little flags, okay? I'm going to send him one of these on Monday, and then we'll be able to sell you the flags, um, and then you can paint a, a cross or whatever. It comes with a little uh, checker flag when it comes in the box, Let's see. Happy Valentine's Day, Daytona 500, uh, day two. Daytona 500 today. Is it Daytona 500 today? <clears throat> all right. So we've got all this. We've got uh, the Arc Pro uh, set uh, pretty much pre uh, preset, but I'm going to do some modifications to this. Isn't that cool? And I was uh, I was doing some checking. I was doing some checking, and the uh, um, th these pillars are about right to scale. They could be a little bigger, but this is the right scale. I was looking at. I was driving down semi, uh, 75 and I was looking at the pillars and uh, it's pretty much, it's pretty close. 
those are pretty close. So I want to do a quick tech video. I know it's not a long, uh, it's not a long show. I've got to get my taxes done today. You guys are probably saying, oh man, we want him to do an hour show. I, I can't, I got to get my taxes done or else we won't be in business. But sales have just gone through the roof. Yesterday and today, oh my gosh, we have sold so many cars. Uh, the model kits are starting to sell. Uh, Space 1999, car ride. No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere, AJ. There's no place for me to go. It's, it, it, there's no place for me to go. Would you be on tonight, right? Yes, we're going to be on tonight at 8 o'clock. We're going to start a pre-show at 8 o'clock, all right, to get the camera all set up. And it's the movie tonight is uh, Attack of the Giant Leeches. Okay, now let me explain this movie, okay? So when I was, um, let's see, in 1971, 72, I was living in the Imperial Trace Apartments in Toledo, okay? And, and this, I told you the story about me finding all these TVs. And, and in, the, uh, in my apartment, I set up my TV and I'd watch, these, I'd watch these two shows on Channel 7 and Channel 50 out of Detroit. One was called Channel 50 out of Detroit and Channel 7 out of Cleveland. And they had Creature Double Feature. One was Saturday night was Creature Double Feature and, uh, and then Goulardi. And um, I'd watch all these horror films at midnight, okay? I mean, just creature double feature, Godzilla. And then when we moved to, to uh, Toledo or Bowling Green, uh, Channel 7 would have uh, 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 afternoon movies at 3.30. They'd have an afternoon movie at 3.30. And I'd get home and they'd have Godzilla Week or they'd have Monster Week. And they'd show all monster movies during the week. Well... Attack of the Giant Leeches was the most disgusting movies I think I'd ever seen. Now, obviously, it's a B movie, but it's about this big fat guy like me, and he's got this beautiful wife. Well, the wife is not, you know, too happy with being with him, so she's kind of flirting around with guys. Well, he realized that, and he starts to feed people to these giant leeches, he finds. And the leeches are, I mean, they're, it's a kind of disgusting costume, but... They st and then there's one scene that they're in the they're in the uh, underground water place and the bodies are just laying there and they've got all these suck marks all over their faces and, <laughs> and the leeches are kind of they're not killing them they're just sucking enough blood out of them to where they're they're they can <laughs> they can have more of them and they're just laying there these people are they must be a half dozen people later and i was so petrified about leeches i said oh man i don't want to be around right now so we got attack of giant leeches we're gonna get them we're gonna get the leeches all right that's tonight at eight o'clock that's when you'll see me again at eight o'clock um it's now uh uh I, I can't where the day goes it's already 2 30 uh kathy's taking mark to work Mark's got to work from 3 to 6 tonight. I'll, I have to go around 6 to go pick him up. I don't know what Tim's going to, Tim, uh, when Tim's going to start heading across. Boy, we're going to be getting a snowstorm tomorrow. Now, just when they say we're going to get a snowstorm, we don't get a snowstorm. It goes either north or south. White breakfast then. Wild breakfast. Wild breakfast then. Uh, you guys got, you guys, I'd say you should have chocolate for Tim tonight for V-Day. Thumbs up. Ghosts and Sir Grassley Graves. Yes, I remember that. I remember the the ghouls and Sir Grassley. Yes, thumbs up. Movie night. You'll be on tonight, right? Yep, car ride. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at all these notes. Okay. President's Day, no school tomorrow. That's right. No school tomorrow. And uh, all right. Oscar that was my quick tech video. Don't forget to check out our our uh, speed control and uh, on uh, ProTicketToys.com, ProTicketToys.com. Have a great day. We'll see